That's exactly wow. it. And then if you don't like it or, re or show it or repost it from, it's hating. Yeah, no, I know. Without me telling you, that's the roughest thing. Right thing. You, suck. Yeah. you fucking suck. That's the roughest thing because me, when I was coming up, I would get mad on people. But you had so good rough. music. You did. But then there's people that they don't like He's my still music. Still dropping it. <laughs> yes, but and, and then I would I when I hear bad music. Holding the hair clippers and a gun. <laughs> <laughs> but when I hear bad the music, music on, you I'm put like, the music on it's, it's hot. It's hot. The shit was clean. It was dope. You rap. That's because I was paying, you know what I mean? But you I'm rapped like, on B. Exactly. This dude's dope. Yeah. And that's what I think. I'm like, bro, the fuckers used to think of me like, was I that bad? And then I think I'm like, no. There's bad some music is bad. Bad music is bad. I was there's the some best, people I asked my man, do they, do they, do they do really think they sound good, good or what? Like, I'm, I hear them, I'm like, man, they can't really do it. No one's honest no more, bro. No, no one's like, going to tell you. Be that. honest with yourself. You know what I mean? Like me, just as a barber, bro. That's when I first started, I had homies telling me, you ain't cutting my hair yet, dog. Thank you for keeping it real, homie. Mm -hmm. Like, don't let me fuck your hair up and then you go talk shit behind my back. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, keep it 100 with yeah. me. Yeah. Still fucked a little bit, but. Thank yeah, you know what I mean? You <laughs> fucked up, but. Fucked up, but. Drops up with me. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, but, but you've been doing good. You're successful, man. You're in your own shop. You make your own music. You don't ask nobody for shit. Appreciate you. And I've looked up to people like you. And you put. You know what I mean? You, like, know, you, put, you put how many of my videos out? Exactly. And you're not like these fucking. I'm, more, I'm, I'm influenced by, like, my interviews coming one day. <laughs> you guys, bro, you know what I mean? That's who I grew up with. I'll sit on that side. He'll sit in the middle yeah, yeah, and you'll fuck with him. Well, let's go to the next guy. Let's go to the next question. Even people that ain't on fucking. Let's listen. Even people that ain't doing fucking music uh, hate on you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you're like, bro. Who are you to talk about my music? When you don't do shit. No, I've heard it all about me. Yeah, I've heard it all. You know, about me. there's people that are that are, you know, I'm not hating on anybody doing their thing, man. Like, you know, it's just it's just we need some shit it, sucks. Yeah, up. There should be some level of quality. But Duke City Prince got it going on. They do their shit. Duke City, Duke City Skyline got it going on. They do their thing. Yeah, Your code Take is pride dope. in your product. Bro. Exactly. Put money into it. I understand if you start, you may be on a budget, so hey, let me start with the cheaper, mm -hmm. and then let me make my money and go into bed, but don't ever cheap yourself on your quality, on investing in yourself, because your shit ain't gonna sell right, it ain't gonna, gonna yourself if, they, if they buy it the first couple times to show you love and it ain't quality, they're, they're not gonna back. come back, yeah, it's just like up. fucking dope, it's just like, you know what I mean, the good anything and, you get, know, to, and get to some fine ass women pay some models to do your shit don't get a method yes don't don't get a crack <laughs> or a method <laughs> yes that are trying to charge no disrespect to our crack exactly. boys and methods <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean to our local method we crack need we need models, you know shout out do your thing <laughs> but stay in your lane <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean go ahead brother uh, you're good uh, what do you think uh, do you think the Chicano rap game has evolved or or is it the same as the early 2000s? Hell no, it'll never evolve. It's, it's oversaturated with bullshit. I know. And, it, and, and fucking crabs in a bucket pull each other down. Yeah. It's never going to evolve because we don't let each other. Yeah. If you grow up, the next day I'll be like, that's my boy. Yeah. That's my boy. I'm going to text him and call him and say, motherfucker, I see you you. did your thing. Yeah. I see you. Good work. Yeah. Well done. Not these other fuckers, man. They don't give a shit. No, no. They, they don't care. They're, they're going to actually bro. be mad and be like, fuck that for them. Gee, fuck you. I don't, I don't it's think it's just man. that envy, bro. It's just, it's just, it's just in our nature to fucking just bring each other down. It is, bro. It's like crazy. you're happy for them, but deep down they're hating. Like man, fuck that shit. I guess you it's, know, it's like when we sucks, grow up, bro. like George Lopez says, like when he always, did you hear so and so got uh, is pregnant? Oh, I'm not again. Uh, yeah, so like we're always like. <laughs> that's just how it is. It's, it's, it's just. Yeah, I, don't the think curse. It's, I don't think it's gonna. Ever, I think we are cursed. Yeah, we are cursed. I don't think it'll ever change, man. So who Sadly. do you feel? Who do you feel is holding the torch in Chicano rap genre nowadays? Mm -hmm. To 2021, who's holding the torch, bro? Nobody's really making music. True. Nobody's really making music. And I do see just because of the pandemic, who's, it slowed down. But who made recently? Who has a hot song in 2021? In like really? I gotta say, I mean, not hot, not no radio hits, but King Lil G. But he don't rap. He don't consider himself Chicano mm -hmm. rap. You know what I mean? He's smart. Um, He's smart. He don't you, put himself. Represent your people. It's all good. But don't. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because obviously he's seen that the shit has fucking died. You know what yeah. I mean? So, but um, Little Rob. Uh, has he made any music this year? Rob? Little Rob, bro. Yeah. He has two couple singles out that 
he just did with MC Magic's new artist J Rocks. Bro, it's it's a banger. It's called uh, Belong to You. It's a love track. They did a music video filmed by Concrete. Shout out to Concrete. Um, it's it's a hit, bro. But so somebody who's holding us down. I don't know, man. I, I, I haven't heard like you know. You're right, though. I mean, I guess that's a good answer because, like I said, nobody be has a radio you. right now. I'd be bullshit. Nobody you has said something. Yeah. None of our none of our people that we grew up with are, are really killing it. Yeah. For making songs, that's you know. The only, the only consistent one that's like still on a major scale is like probably Bash. Yeah, and he, he, he releases still a lot of shit. albums and he makes he makes and records with too, a yeah. lot of people. A lot of people. So of people. you know, but he's not really considered to come Chicago, exactly because, because he's international. He, he is, international. and he he's doesn't make it for just one people. You can represent your people without well, saying S yes. at homes on every fucking line. Yes, yeah. exactly. You, it's exactly. a, you show your skills, man. Uh, you know, step your fucking game up. It's step your game up. Everything, your vocabulary. Up. Exactly. Learn some new shit. Like, don't get me, don't get me wrong. I'd rather be, <laughs> they're still fucking Evolve. walking around on their knuckles. <laughs> I know. Well, I've, I've, I've been, since I grew up with, with black people, I've been I've been known to use the N-word before. And uh, through all the stuff that, like, happened with like, George Floyd and all that stuff, man, I really... You don't try to it even, over, you know? and I was like, mm, you know, I don't think I'll, I, I should, I should or will ever put it in music again. And and you are talented enough to, you can easily swap that out with any other. It's thing. fucked up because we grew up between Texas and the Bay, That's and what two fucking things influenced me, man? E forty and, and Scarface and everything from the screwed, Texas, screwed music yeah. to hyphy music. Crump music, it's I, we're, we're in the fucking middle, we're gonna get mixed up in it. Yeah. Exactly. You know, I don't think it's any bad shit. And it's hip hop, I mean, we're influenced by it, I mean, lots of people. Cause there, there is a lot of, there is, you know, there's a lot of talent, bro, but, but. Mm, no, Alright, keep holding it down, though. Yeah, 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 I don't keep my mouth shut. Well, yeah. you, do you it, think it, they should bring back Pecos for Pecos Pero Locos on the radio? What for? Pecos Pero Locos. What for? <laughs> Pecos, <laughs> pocos pero locos. Nah, <laughs> one, we don't have, like you what said, you didn't make there's no nobody. Boy, there's play. nobody. Who are you gonna play? You can't. What are you gonna play those old songs? Nobody wants to hear yeah. that. The only dude that can play that old shit was uh, what was what was the name? Used to play the oldies radio station. Arlo Bo. Arlo Bo. I think Arlo Bo's still kicking, bro. He's the only one that can do that shit. Yeah. The only one that can still do that shit. Still play those songs because, yes. Because they're timeless. Or Sunday night slow jams. They're timeless. Saturdays, well, yes. They're fucking timeless. <laughs> Sunday nights, <laughs> yep. Sunday night slow jams. Because this music will still be getting played 50 years from now. Exactly. What Chicano songs can, can you play today on Locos Pero Locos? There's nothing timeless anymore, man. Right. Nothing. Right. So we're screwed. Well, exactly. We're screwed. And I'm just, I'm not hating. Oh, no, no, I'm yeah, not that's, hating. That's, that's facts, keeping it real. Bro, that's but facts. it's facts, straight up. Facts, bro. bro. I'm not hating. It's straight like up. The rewind of the past. There's nothing that makes me say, man, I wish there was a record store so I could buy that shit. Yeah, no, no. Fuck no. In your personal opinion, who is the king of Chicano rap? Who has made the biggest impact in the genre? So oh, like we were saying far. before, man. Uh, the top three, man. Uh, Frost. Godfather, like you said. That's, that's, he's the Straight man. Up, man. He's Rob. Rob. Light Shade Brown. Frost, Rob, Light Shade Brown. Shade Brown. They're, they're the Is there a king, though? Who's, who's the king? The king. They say Toker was, but rest in peace to the homie. Yeah, to Toker, true, brown, brown side, side forever. Yeah. Mm, he king. was the he was the most G, the realest, you know what I mean? But King He would say some crazy shit in his oh, videos yeah. all the time. I was like, God He was damn. uncut, bro, unfiltered. Yeah. He's a big the time. realest. Yeah. That's why I said the realest. And that's that's why like, it's unfortunate what happened to him because he kept it too fucking real. Exactly. Um, you know, God bless his family, man. And, and I, that's why I say I don't wanna take away from because he's called the king, you know what mm. I mean? We gotta show him his love yeah. and respect, but I'm talking about Classics yeah. in the in the genre. I think Frost Frost, Frost got it because you can play that, put us on. the East Side Monday View album. Oh my God! Yeah. Album. Oh, oh, album. I remember watching that, that shit on the box. Bro, that whole album. Band. Remember, I remember See, we yeah, were just playing that all the time. Bam! See you. Having some beer. Yeah. Oh. And then Family Affair. La Familia. How many, yeah. How many? How many? 
forties you not drink to that shit. Yeah, straight up, that. straight up barbecue. Turn that yep. shit up. Every barbecue. You Actually, know, his his music uplifted us. Yeah. Straight up, that, yeah. So we could party in any fucking neighborhood, any fucking house party with any fucking. He was put. He was representing us with class too. He was showing the world. Who we are. What He's we the one are, that like, introduced Baby Bash and SPM and mm -hmm. Espanola. Oh, did? And yeah. they'll tell you, man. Bash told you. Frost put me on. Yeah, straight up. Oh, They're open know? about it. I remember hearing that shit. I was finally happy when um, when Fingers got Rob and uh, and Frost on a track together with Yomini. Which one was that? It's, it's, I don't know. It's a fucking badass song. <laughs> I and I think my bootleg, yeah, my bad. I to be it. honest, I think Fingers is our only shot at bringing Chicano rap back to a, a radio, you know what I mean, level. Mm -hmm. But it's changed. The book. I know, it's but changed. that's what I mean. That's what I was to say. Hopefully, he's soaked up game and evolved enough too to be like. Which one of you fuckers are ready to put us that back? That doesn't on work back? no more. This shit don't yeah. work no more. Oh, we can't man. do it because we can't repeat that shit no more. It's gotta be different. I don't know what's gonna do it. Uh, what female artist do you think goes hard for the Chicano rap? Snow. Snow the product. Yeah. Nobody can fuck and with she her. She is, bro. She is. And she doesn't, the we'll same, she does down. not consider, she refuses to be considered Chicano rap. I saw her She's, in the interview. She said, what is that? And that kind of pissed me off. Like, don't. Oh, shit. She's a Mexicana doing music, yeah. yes. making hip hop. She, to, she is the baddest, bro. She Nobody can a, fuck with her. I know. Nobody can touch her. She has bars, Lyrically, she, Lyrically she, she's she'll fucking eat us bro. up. She's overlooked. Yeah, yeah. She should have hit a mainstream. Straight up. She was on Queen of the South. She got a part on that shit. Yeah, yeah. she's dope, man. Like, some there's some songs, some of her songs that you hear, like when she's really on her rapping shit. Okay. You're like, oh damn. Okay, now though, oh, it's weird to what? compare her to Dia Monique. A.K.A. Miss Sancha, mm -hmm. who's is um, Snow the product more a I better know, artist, man. Dominique, you know what I mean? Dominique has the same skill levels, the same fucking skill levels. They remind you of, of, of each other. Yeah, exactly. They remind That's me of each other. They remind they're me both. of each other because they're so so much alike, man. Um, there's just uh, I think Dominique is more street. Yeah, okay. So she caters you're to right. the street you're audience, right. Right. And, and Snow the Product caters to like a whole different, like more, more mainstream. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. more you're mainstream. Right. Okay, very mainstream. Mainstream. But yeah. but imagine a song with both of them going together that, back and bro. forth. Hard, bro. Oh my god. Go hard. We yeah. we need something like that. Exactly. Straight up, that just like we, we would need about. something like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, I think Snow the Product got it. So who do you think the most underrated in the in the underground or, or music industry is like who do you think deserves some shine like uh, Latinos, Chicanos? Yeah, in our people, yeah, yeah so if we're speaking for our people who who do you Chicanos think deserve some more, mm -hmm. more love than they're getting or who do you think has the potential to, to at least there's make a some lot. noise? There's a lot. <laughs> there's too many that are really, really good but don't really have it. hustle it. It's it's a consi it, yeah the consistency it was, yes, exactly. the consistency because there's there's too many fucking talented people too many man I really couldn't I really couldn't say man I really couldn't say because there's a lot of people on there that are dead that, that I'm like Ugh. fuck if this dude were like if so imagine if somebody just played a song on the radio one time if they give him a shot like let's say from Florida to California and they just simultaneously played his music they're just one of those songs you know and King Leo G has has some good music, man. He's dope. You can hate people. Hate he's him. just more. He's that more modern. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. Yeah, and, and I don't mind. I think that's dope oh, too. Me too. Oh, I think okay. that's good. You get. You need it. You need that shit. Yeah, straight up. You need that shit. But yeah, man. I, I wish. And I wish some more people like like Sancho. I wish Sancho was still making music consistently. Oh, he is too. so fucking talented. He really had the potential to get well, Royal, us. Somewhere. Royal had him. Royal had him oh. a fucking big deal. Yeah. And for some reason it never happened, and I, I really wish it would have because it would have done so much more yeah, for all of us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, he is one that every ty type of song you could throw at him, he kill it, kill it. Spanish and English, rapping as fast as he did, and you could you could Any hear subject. every fucking word, every word you could clear, yeah. hear yeah, clearly. Bro, yeah. Like oh man, yeah, the music. The, I think it, I wish he was still making music on that level consistently. Yeah. That's a good one. Who's your top ten personal favorite artist? Personal? Uh, does it have to be Chicano or everything? No, any Just your personal yeah. favorite artist. Uh, Tupac, LL. Straight up. Uh, 
Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Yeah. Cypress Hill. Cypress Hill. Frost. Don Cisco. Bash. Um, I would say all ghetto boys with Scarface, man. For sure, Scarface is a fucking animal. Down, He's an animal. Um, shit. No, I'm going to be mad later. Um, <laughs> That's a hard I think, question. So I think, yeah. I, Nas. Nas. Nas, is a, Nas you he can, has to be in the top. Order. Like Rock Kim, all them people, man. Like my son is made like Biggie's the best rapper ever. Like Biggie was cool. He was, bro. He, he was one of the best. But he with changed two albums. He changed. Not, yeah, he didn't have enough get material no. to be he, the best. That's what I tell my son. Like, Biggie changed New York. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. But Tupac changed the world. Oh yeah. Tupac changed the world. And, uh, he Biggie, went from he has a Biggie, Biggie, Biggie ain't even top five in New York. Yeah. And people get mad at me. And I'm not hating on Biggie. Well, Biggie only exactly. was in, in New York. Facts. Tupac went from the East Coast all the way to California. Facts are facts. And two albums is just not enough. Not enough material to be the best. It's fucked up what they did to him because. Imagine the shit he could have been doing in the no. late '90s, early 2000s. Imagine him and Tupac evolving. They would have like made it. They, I think they, they would have connected again. They would have connected yeah, again. Yeah. dope ass John. But um, I just hope that we never get to that fucking point, man. To where people are at each other's throats and want to kill each other. There's too many deaths already. People are dying on the streets, especially over music or over words. trying to be the best. You know what I mean? Outshine yeah. someone out. Like, that shit's bullshit, bro. Yeah, it, it's uh, we've it's, seen it happen too much. Like come on. people die for nothing, man. It's bullshit. Nothing. It, it's fucking sad, but that's the life we live. Yes, sir. So, do you got any upcoming projects that we should be on the lookout for? Yes. Anything uh, you're working on? I got about five videos that we should shoot. <laughs> yeah. So put your walking oh. shoes on. Let's roll. And there's there's one I did. Uh, my brother, man, my biological father that I was speaking about earlier that I never really had a chance to meet. Uh, he was a mariachi singer. And uh, my brother, his son, which is my older brother, George, George Hernandez, go look him up. He's a great singer, man. And um, we have a song that, and I've been really working hard on it because I want it to be perfect. It's called Borrachera. And it's all in Spanish. Because I've been doing all Spanish this year. I'm going to do all Spanish music. There's a market for it right now. So there is, I'm bro. hitting it real hard. And this one, I just got to go do some backups and stuff because, man, I, I, I did a good first verse that I thought was good. But the second verse, and I was like, Scratched it off. Did it like three different times, so I feel it's okay. So that one's gonna be cool. We need to go to El Paso and shoot that one there in El Juarez. And uh, I think Borrachera is gonna be a, a good track. And I, my my song still, man, my single Trapalero is. That's I think a it's, banger. I yeah. think it's yeah. a good cut. It's, we'll it's, stream it's that dope. right now. Uh, I got the the one we did still, man. That one's still hitting. Then I did Tu Cajita. Uh, sounds like some pit bullshit. Um, it's just, I'm just I'm all over the place, bro, because I can do it in both languages, and yeah. I don't just like one thing. I like rancheras, I like cumbia, I like reggaeton, I like I like bro. country, I like hardcore hip hop, I like R and B, I like everything. So you're gonna get all kinds corridos. of pieces of me, man. I love corridos. Yeah. I wish you could sample corrido into hip hop. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be dope, but oh, yeah. it's hard to do. But trap corridos, that's a trap corridos is dope. You gotta try one. So it's a, uh, it's a, uh, yeah, man. I, I'd say just look out for borrachera. 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 Oh my God. And it's from, and it's with my brother, so it's even more, more, more. Um, when I listen to it now, man, it kind of gets me emotional because I'm like, I hear my brother singing on the hook, and then it's to me, and then for me to him, and I mean, the old man would be happy. Oh man. You know what yeah. I mean? Because we connected. So hopefully, we make oh, a lot of people man. proud. Oh yeah, bro. especially the familia. They're gonna. Oh yeah, it. absolutely, man. All over the place. So but, probably that one. Give your best advice to an upcoming music artist or somebody thinking they want to get into music for a living. Don't sign with another local. Do everything yourself. Invest in yourself. Put all the shit behind you as you can. Yeah. Once you once you make music and release something, get good visuals, good graphics on your singles or your, your, your albums, music, yeah, your albums, whatever you're doing. Um, and buy promotion wise. Market it. Promote it. Promote the, the shit out of it. Buy YouTube ads, they're expensive, man, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Um, monetize your videos on YouTube. Make sure you do your copyrights right. Um, that's about it, man. And, and own everything. Own, own everything yourself. That we yeah. Don't steal say, beats from this YouTube. Is me. This is me, or this is, this is me. Even though do I've had people sell me beats who 
sold it to some fucking other person. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I'm like, oh, these yeah. motherfuckers, bro. Yeah. People are dirty. Uh, They'll reach out to me and say, man, I got this dope track. I think you sound good on. I'll give it to you for so much, so much. <laughs> I go and play the beat to see if if, if it picks up on uh, on um, YouTube. Anything. Yeah. Anything. I say, hey, man, who sings this song? And you play the beat, the instrumental, and say, nobody, nothing. Okay. The, and uh, after you release, <laughs> I released one. Uh, uh, last year or the year before, and it was dope, and I wanted to make a video to it. And I played. I said, "Who sings this song?" And it was. It said some other dude. Same fucking beat. Same oh, fucking nice. title. Nice. Same fucking title of the no song. Shit. Yes. Ah, I'm like, How the fuck oh, did this happen? Man. That's the worst. That's the worst. This person was from from uh, Florida, and I'm over here in New Mexico. How the fuck? Yeah. Did, yeah. Like you, you, you made you made money off both of us, bro. Like, yeah. Just, Dude, Take it off you your guys side. would. Yeah, leave your shit on your side. It doesn't matter. Leave your shit on your side, but put sold. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because people say, check out my beats. If you like one, I'll give you a good deal. I'll give you a bulk deal or something. The ones that I really like are sold. Not mm -hmm. even, when it says sold, you don't even fuck with I them say more. take that off, bro. Yeah. You sold That's it even to better. someone, someone paid money. Yeah. What you wanted for the beat, you don't own that beat no more. I so I, I go mean, I go to a, a couple of different people and, and I'd be like, uh, like, I'll tell Mike C, man, I love the way this sounds. Can you make something to it? Boom, like two days, it's already here. And I know it's not going anywhere. Exactly. You know, I could sit on it for 10 years and you're not going to resell it. No one else is going to have it. No. Yeah. No. So just find producers you can trust, good producers, and don't buy beats for 25, 30 bucks. Don't <laughs> buy 50, you get what you pay some for. Some homies have right? some good beats for 50 bucks, but yep. put money into your beats because <laughs> you, may, you could make a cool song with a cheaper beat, but. Uh, they still sound like Triton beats. And it ain't gonna be a classic, bro. You drop hundreds, five hundred, drop more on a beat, like you're gonna have a classic. Yeah. You know what I mean? I had a homie the other day who who I made a full album with. He said, Well, you know, I'm doing bigger things now. He reached out to me and he said, Yeah, I'm on thirty five hundred for this beat. I was like, that loco is the way. Yeah, bro. I said, so I said you're reaching out to like come on. That's a down payment on the house, but <laughs> you're tripping, dog. Yeah. I'll go get me a new way. Fuck out of here. Yeah. Thirty-five hundred. Did he respond? Like, huh? You better battle cat. Yeah. Multi platinum producer voices. I'll work with you, dog. Give me fifteen or twenty-five hundred. I'm like, see, he solidified. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's made class. I'll be with her. I say, hey, man, let me a thousand bucks. Yep, straight this up. This song's gonna be bumping. We're gonna do it real quick. Yeah, yep, straight up. So with his name behind it or something like that. And shout out to Cocaine happening. too, man. I've been rapping to Cocaine too. He's a real dope, cool dude. And he loves Rasa, bro. He says, if your shit is here, and I'll fuck with you. You know? And they ain't out there waxing the shit out of people, man. But some, some of our gente really gets it into their head and thinks it they does. gotta charge 1500, 2500, 5000 5, for a fucking feature and shit. I'm like, motherfucker. Especially if they just like finish oh, or for yeah. for a beat. Beat. Like, wow, the market isn't the like the market isn't like that no more. We ain't making that kind of money right now. No, music, really got, yeah. Where, and you see these videos and these people online flashing all this money and shit. It ain't from music, bro. Oh, no, all them not. jewels and all that shit. You see, money it, ain't it, says, it, no, it ain't music picture. money. <laughs> it ain't music money. And if it ain't yeah, if it ain't fucking motion picture money, <laughs> it ain't from you ain't cashing checks that big. Nah, no, fuck no. Spotify. And you see what one video? You're flashing all kinds of hundreds. You're going to. Your no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying it's fucking dope money, but it ain't music yeah. money, buddy. Yeah. Tell you that right no, now. It don't matter what it is, but Straight up. I know it's part of it's part of the image, yeah. which is dope too. But people are like, man, I'm doing it so big out here. Oh, off of my track, yeah. What? Shut the fuck exactly. up. Exactly. We know the. Vives con tu jefa, wey. You don't don't play with me, man. Duh, yeah. I'd rather tell you, man. I'd rather tell you. I'd rather, yeah. rather tell you, look, man. I stay in the East Mountains. Yeah, I'll keep it real. Why I, I own all my shit. Yeah. Straight uh, up. But, you know, I don't live in a big fancy house. People always think, why well, don't you live in a big ass house? You're a rapper. Don't you have a mansion? No. You know? yeah. Why didn't you have security on the Bitch, you think I'm going to pay 2500 a month for... No. Oh, no. Yeah, no. straight up. No, I'm, I'm content with me. I'm comfortable. I'm, I'm comfortable, comfortable on my skin. skin. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm okay, man. I'm not going to fake the funk. Straight up. Mm -mm. So, aside from doing music, what do you enjoy, bro? What do you what do, you do bro, besides music? When you're not rapping or writing or uh, working on my videos? Book, my book. Are you writing a book? Yeah. So you you so like to write? So in general. Yeah, no, no. 
Yeah, uh, yeah. I, re I already wrote part one of my book, man, because it's too much. So from the part from when I was born to right before I started making music, that's part one. And that yeah. one's done, and I'm I'm trying to get the right editors to do it because I want to do the Audible thing. Yeah. And uh, it's fucking expensive, bro. Like, it's mm. really up there. Just to get it going? Yeah. Because they, they got to edit everything. They got to format it. Record, yes. Yeah, yeah, and, then, yeah. and then I got to record the shit. So I'm trying to find the best deal for that. But the second part of the book is going to be from when I start doing music and all them horror stories you're going to hear up till now. Yeah. But the book, is, the book is is uh, all real. The, I really let all people the know. the all you fools want to know about. <laughs> no man, from the everybody early 2000s and no, shit. From fucking people that think that life is easy or something. Yeah. Hell no, bro. I, I've had it rough. Uh, I've struggled a lot. Like you see me smiling. Have you ever seen me like a wait or nothing? Nah. No, I'm joking because nah. I really feel like I made it, bro. I came from nothing. Yeah. Like from shit to something, man. Exactly. You know, I really feel like I made it, man. My kids, yeah, my kids there. are good. That make people it. don't. I got him through school, you know. Um, my son has a beautiful son with like the most beautiful girl in the world, and my grandson Kai, he's like the most. He is like what my life revolves around. Mm -hmm. So what besides music, about? family too. Family. Yeah. My mom, you know everything. Yeah. I, you know, I stay down the block from my mom. Nice, bro. So you know, and and it's in in a week, bro. This week, man, life, life is hard. I lost three family members. And um, remember I told you I lost them too. Yeah. And two days ago, I lost my little cousin, my primo, yeah, Beto, in, in a car accident in Tijeras. And I love you, Beto. And um, it's just, life is fucking a trip, man. So you hold on to your family, dog. So, you know, we're over here chuckling it up and having a good time. I gotta go back and see my family and my, and my prima has to make arrangements to bury your son. Yeah, that's what that's. You, yeah. you see, and, yeah. and, and I'm lucky enough that I can still text my kids, or uh, no you matter how, no matter how hard or how much we bump heads or how much we don't agree or anything or who blames who on what, man. Uh, I love my kids more than anything, and my grandson is is uh, you know he's he's the best. He's all my shit is about. Like, really, my, my yeah. Facebook, my personal one, is yeah. all pictures about him. Like, I really have nothing else. I like going to the gym and working out and, and, and because that's like me time. Exactly. You know what I mean? And people freak out too. Like, oh, you got a job? This motherfucker tells me. I said, <laughs> one day. Hey, I was surprised. <laughs> when, <laughs> this motherfucker said, he's like, yeah, man, I'll hit you up after work. Wait, you work? So well, you, you got, got a job? job? What do you mean you got a job? You got to eat? You gotta I, live. I don't know why I just, I don't know. Why I just, no, I don't got it like that. <laughs> you I don't got it like that. Yeah, I, I could live that. off the music. I Aren't you rich? Tell me the same thing. You, you work? You have a job of life. Yeah. When you told me oh, you were God. getting your shop, I was like, oh, fuck yeah. And, and, you know, for a while you had to, you know, do your family thing and stuff. And that's why I never bothered you to make videos. Because I would have been on your ass like every two weeks. Like, come on, Julio, let's go, man. Yeah, I'm yeah. bored on the weekends. Oh, I know, I know. I'm bored. Like, this I've been wanting to film, too. So let's do something. Get you know? back to it. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's all good, man. So you know, I'm sorry for casting last week. Oh, no. I didn't. I, I didn't. Did you know, good, I had to be back and home. This the yeah. wait was well worth it, and I'm sure well everybody's gonna it. enjoy it. Bro. I hope it wasn't bad enough to people are like he's a dickhead. Oh no! And at the same time, no, okay. we're keeping it real. One hundred this channel. We keep it real, and that's why I made three volumes in New Mexico's it. most hated man because hated people hated me like a motherfucker. Oh, I remember when you for what. Honestly, bro, <laughs> nobody has gotten further than you in the New Mexico rap scene, bro. I don't think so. Then it music shit really died down and shit, and there's no more award shows, nothing. You have won best mm. art, best of the state, like all that, and I mean, you've put your work in, bro. You deserved it, brother. You deserve it. I worked my ass off, bro, and uh, like, and also I want to send a shout out to Dirt too, man, boy Dirt. Uh, Cause everybody's like, well, what what fool, like, tripped you up? Like you like, man, only one that ever like from the first time I heard him in '04, bro. I've heard him on his. On he was ahead of his time, and bro. I was like, son of a bitch, this guy's local. This dude is local. And he was getting some views and all that. Yeah, stuff he's back, dope, you know? man. So I want to shout out to Boy Dirt, man. Shout, shout out, out to Boy Dirt. That boy. was my next question. Is there anybody you want to shout out? So shout out. Yeah, to boy my boy Bodin, man. Politica, we still doing it. And uh, look out for his boys, man. Tercer Imperio. Because he got this young Spanish group. And they're dope, bro. 
they're dope. They're talented. They're talented. Look out for them. They're setting video. Okay. Video shoot. They, they, he's got like five videos and they got a lot of songs, oh, man. So they're yeah. doing good. But, you know, everybody that's ever shown me love, man. Everybody in the game. You guys, my family. Everybody, man. One love. God bless everybody. Hope everybody's well. And get your money, man. Stop the bullshit. Stop the hate. Batteries about to die. OGD has one more question. I have one more question, and it's a wrap. Let's get it done. Uh, tell us something nobody probably knows about you. Oh, I got my associates, my bachelor's, and my master's degree. I'm a college graduate. Fuck yeah, yeah bro. Hold it down for See? Us, uh, I didn't know. I mean, I knew. You were doing schooling and shit back in the but well, that's why when you school. said you had a job, I was like, what? You gotta and put then, your education bro, in the that's, that's, oh yeah, that's bro, that, up, that's bro. dope, bro. Keep on pushing, bro. Yeah, Keep on sure. doing everything. And once the doing. pandemic ends, man, I, I'll get back to my son's little uh, Zia Kings. We got a, a AAU, okay, a little team basketball team. Nice. Where we get from the small towns, okay. get them all together because there's nothing out there for them. So we come and play Keep them against busy. everybody up here. Nice. And then they be kicking our ass and shit because they're dope. Do they? Good. Oh my God. We won a couple games, man. But you know what? It's just the fun that I'm still coaching my son and all my little primos and all his little friends. Oh, yeah, bro. And everybody from a small town can come and compete with these kids. It's only making them better. Oh, yeah. And it'll keep them out of negative shit, drugs, yeah. all that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Away from the fucking video games. Away from the video <laughs> games. Stay, stay off of Fortnite. Louise, right? stay, ah. stay off the. I hope they cancel PS5. Fortnite. <laughs> just <laughs> Last question. I have to ask you, what's your favorite restaurant in the city? Favorite oh, restaurant? Oh, that's easy, man. Lindo Mexico. Lindo Mexico. Oh, yeah. Louisiana and Central. Central, man. Louisiana and Central. I'm sure you guys have seen there, bro. They got, they, they, got the, they got the best host. They got the prettiest waitresses. They got a time limit. And you got to wait and shit, but... The food Where comes quick. The food is great. The people treat you good. Rasa. It's, it, and it's all rasa. And it's, you know, it's locally here for us and um i wish they had another spot i wish they had a second location because they're yeah. always so like you gotta know yeah, yeah, like, we'll wait in the fucking car i do even when we did the I review the we waited. Waited. i'm gonna go wait. get me my michiladas yeah. and tacos and yeah no I mean, they got good they got good food man they, they they always treat you good they make you feel important not just the important thing but they bring your food back quick they're always they're on, on point. point. They're on point, man. They got the shit locked down. In no Mexico. They got the out. they got the radio like, shit. Like now. Oysters. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys saw the episode oh, of you know our what? <laughs> Our review at Lindo Meiko, you know I wasn't fucking with the oysters. <laughs> too well. A shout out to Lindo oh, Meiko. Yeah. Gracias, Juan Thank Gambino, you, for coming and being a part of Chicano's Top TV. Appreciate if it. you guys don't know about him, you're too young or some shit, Go check get on out. YouTube. Stream his music on uh, on every platform, everything, everything, you know, everything, everything digital, man. Man. Oh, and holla at me on Instagram, Facebook, and everything, man. I always talk back features, to everybody. He does mixing, mastering, he produces. So if you're an upcoming artist, all that you need advice, anything, holla. And I'm not you. waxing, motherfuckers. You know, no, <laughs> no 3500, <laughs> not 35. Yeah. <laughs> so gracias nah, for everything. Thank you, thank you for everything. everything. Joining us. Let's keep making man. better. Let's, oh, let's keep making. Let's make. More visuals. We're gonna do keep making it better. We'll be for the coming state. back real hard. Thanks real for tuning soon. in. Chicano God bless. Talk TV. Gracias. Thank you all for watching another episode of Thank Chicano's you. Talk TV. Do us a favor. Share this video on every platform you got. Tag us on Instagram. I'll put our names right here. Subscribe tag us. Tag all the homies. Your tío, your tía, your primo, your prima. Let them Everybody. all know about Chicano's Talk TV. We are sitting on five unreleased episodes five, right now. We just want to release this video first, so we hope you guys enjoyed it. Now it is time for our 400 subscriber giveaway. 400, 400 subscribers we passed. And going still, bro. We're still going, Straight so up. thank same, you. Same for as always, up. thank you guys. Gracias, Everybody bro. that, like I said, is still sharing our videos as we've been. <clears throat> Filming other stuff, yeah. I bet you people are like, they, they, yeah, they, they gave quit. up. They gave We've been up. really busy, but we're, we're back at it. Coming. We're gonna keep the summers coming. coming. You guys get ready for this little wave of videos yeah. coming your way um, to unlock them. We got to do this giveaway real fast. So same rules as always. Tell them. You gotta. But wait, do the rules by the book. Do it by the what we say. It's says, easy. It's easy. Just not everybody does it. Screenshot this episode or your favorite episode, and share it on Instagram, and then tag me and OGD 
and then tag 10 people let them know in the description what it is like try to help us promote you know what i mean just check help us get it out, out there yeah check them out check out their page blah 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 tag us tag 10 people come back to the comments on youtube and uh type hashtag done and then we'll pick one of you guys for some money some money in your motherfucking bank account uh, baby so two hundred dollars Two hundred dollars sounds it's about, about fair right 400 now. So, up there, so thank you guys, thank and you so um, don't only share it and tag us when it's a money giveaway. Um, keep it going, keep it going. Uh, we hope you guys didn't think. Up there. We hope you guys didn't think we just fell <clears> off <throat> and shit. We got some videos coming your way, so unlock a those lot of videos. To review still, we got a lot of videos coming your yeah. way. That's all you gotta know. Unlock those videos. By uh, <clears throat> helping us complete this giveaway, and that's what it is. Thank you guys for tuning in to Chicano's Talk TV. Thank you.